Lager Sports Talk. I'm John Lee. I'm Tyler Lager. It's time for round three. All right, we got baseball news starting us off, okay? There's not much going on as far as headline news in baseball, but there are some impressive teams out there going on. Uh, Texas Rangers are 14-7, and they lead the Rangers. AL West. And this is after sweeping, uh, I don't think they swept, but they did beat the uh, Los Angeles Angels yeah. with... Uh, Josh Hamilton, they beat them in the first week, and I think they won this last series too. So they're 14-7. And, and believe it or not, they're not really running neck and neck with the Angels. They're running neck and neck with the Athletics from Oakland, which is quite surprising because Oakland's a small ball. They're kind of like a Tampa Bay Rays. They right. use very underutilized players, not paid very well. Well, not paid very much, I should say, but a uh, very underrated team. I really yeah. like Oakland. Um, Atlanta just uh, took a series from the Rockies, who's also leading their division. But Atlanta, they're kind of impressive too because yeah. best team in baseball. You know, uh, the Rockies got a reality check when yeah. they because we, you know, the Rockies only had lost like four games, and then they took on the uh, Braves. Oh, excuse me, the Braves. They took on the Braves and they lost two out of three. And so. that was one of those really cold weather games, too? Yes, 23 degrees. <laughs> 23 degrees so, I mean, only in Denver. If you're used to Atlanta, and nice temperatures most of, mostly year round, and then you go to the Rockies and then you beat them at 23 degree weather. That really says something about That's your impressive. team. So I mean, look what it did for the Baltimore Ravens when they beat the Broncos. I mean, this is a big thing. Um, next up, we got NBA to playoffs. Let's tell us a little bit about that, Tyler. All right. Well, we have uh, the Bulls and the Nets split at one apiece, along with the Warriors in the um, along with the Warriors and the. Nuggets, which I'm surprised about because the Nuggets had a really good run during the regular yeah, season. Definitely. I really expected them to make some noise, but uh, since losing David Lee, uh, which was huge for the Warriors, the Warriors really started to rally around uh, other stars and really right. starting to put it together. Um, Oklahoma City, uh, of course, leads uh, Houston uh, two games to nil. Uh, the Spurs are leading the Lakers. Sorry, yeah. Laker fans, this just ain't your year. Um, and then you also have the Heat, you know, they're ho humming against the Bucks. I mean, and then they also have the Knicks leading the Celtics at two games to none. I think each of those teams will probably sweep the yeah. series. If they do lose a game, it's going to be one game. Just because, mm -hmm. I mean, obviously it's hard to do a sweep in any sport. So if you're going to lose, you know, if you're going to lose, you're only going to lose one game if you're really a top team. So, Tyler, tell us about the Emerald of Venom. The Emerald of Venom, they beat Lordeo. I mean, well, even though radio. it never made it on radio, <laughs> well, it was a great game. It took, uh, the Venom were down as many as uh, 17 points uh, twice. Yeah. Um, as late as the third quarter, and the Venom, they just really just, uh, they really put pressure on um, Lodeo's uh, receivers, and then uh, Brian Randall, who was a Virginia Tech alum, uh, that was just, and then Raymond Johnson with the, well, they scored with the, what was it, with the go-ahead field goal. Yeah. Raymond Johnson runs it to the one. And yeah. he, he, he told me, it's just no pressure. I got ice water in my veins. <laughs> Raymond um, Johnson, he's, he's quite a character. Yes, he? he is. He's a really cool guy. I almost mistaken him for Nelly, believe it or not. <laughs> I, I, I remember. I can I, see the resemblance. Yeah, I can see the resemblance, too. <laughs> Uh, but they end up playing uh, Abilene, um, uh, not this weekend, but the next weekend at home, and that's going to be a battle for the Lone Star Co Football League supremacy. Yeah, that's going to be huge. That's going to be a big game. So we want you to come out. It's five dollar tickets, please, for students. Five dollars for students. Okay. WT news: uh, Eastern New Mexico is now the new target for the WT men's baseball team. Uh, they going to travel there. I think the men's playoffs or men's baseball team made the playoffs. So. Oh, really? Good deal. And then the and they're playing in team. Canyon, by the way, aren't they? I think it's actually in Eastern New Mexico. Oh, okay. I could be wrong. Uh, uh, I was I was thinking more like the playoffs. Right. Uh, go to GoBus Go. That'll definitely tell you where to get yeah. that from. <laughs> now the women's softball team—they're ranked fifth in the nation. They're very good. Yeah, they're still very good. They've only lost like six or seven games, I think, yeah. total all, all season long. And they're um, going to Texas women's and definitely need to support them. I mean, they're not, they're playing on the road, so definitely need to support them from afar. And then Tyler, new basketball coach for the new women's. New basketball coach. 
Uh, I sent a text to Coach Gerlich. I congratulated her on the move to UTA. Um, however, she got replaced by a really good coach. Mark Kellogg is replacing Coach Gerlich, and he's the winningest coach in Division II. Well, one of the most winningest coach. Uh, winningest coaches. Uh, he's 173 and 46. And that's how, and he's from Fort Lewis from Colorado. And yeah, he's my biggest question though with Kellogg coming in is gonna be the continuity. Um, maybe the girls are gonna take something maybe like a little different from Kellogg compared to Coach Gerlich. Right. I know when they switch coaches right in the middle of, uh, of, of especially college coaches when they jump and then others come in. Uh, you're going to be dealing with the likes of, uh, you know, continuity issues. You're going to be dealing with the likes of recruiting issues. Right. Um, but then again, I, I mean, Mark Kellogg has a really good uh, base to work with. I mean, I mean, it's WT. It's what it's Texas, uh, and then not to mention that the Canyon girls are really good too. Yes. So I mean, he could just he could just playoffs. recruit he could just recruit locally, and he'd be just fine. All right. As for everything else, John, take it away for us. Well, we forgot to put a playoff uh, playoff prediction for yes. the NBA. So I predict the Heat is going to beat the Spurs. Uh, the Heat, they're just on a mission this year. You can't you can't stop them. Yeah. But. On the other hand, I I'm going to go against the Spurs. I'm going to go with the Thunder. Really? I, I'm going to go with the Thunder. Um, just Fast because just because they're really just they're really good and they're going to be good for a lot of years to come but i do have the heat beating oklahoma city but that's going to be a toss-up yeah because oklahoma city if there's one team that can get the heat's number that's oklahoma city either that or the spurs so one of those two teams all right be sure to check out the prairie sports facebook page be sure to check out the prairie sports twitter feed at prairie underscore sports and we each have a tw twitter feed as well jcl 1987 tyler liger 87 stay classy wt